Good morning, welcome to the shed. So uh, I'll get to the point. This is a what's called a saw set tool. It's basically a uh, pair of pliers for setting the teeth on your cross cut and rip saws. Basically, if you look down the saw like that, these teeth should go alternately left, right, left, right, left, right, and that gives you a bit of kerf to get the blade through. So uh, you can't do that manually. Um, you need you need a tool, and that's what this is. Second hand, bought it on eBay, 11 quid, probably paid a little bit over the top, but that's fine, does the job. Came in a box with the instructions, and we're gonna have a go at using it today. So it's only gonna be a quick video. Uh, I've got lots of other projects going on, which you'll see soon. First of all, I need to have a bit of a tidy up, uh, give this a little clean, and then I'll show you how to use it. I say that, I haven't used it yet, so I don't know how to use it, but we'll work it out. Okay. Okay, so um, I've got the fire light in here, would you believe? It's April and I still need the fire. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is basically a, a pair of pliers, good quality pliers uh, that grip the saw. And then there's a small pin there. Hopefully you can see that as you squeeze the extra bit that pushes the tooth over. That pin just basically pushes the tooth into the correct position. You can set the position using this wheel here and you set there's some numbers on there I think it's, it's related to how many teeth per inch this one goes up to 12 a couple of my saws have got 14 but I'll just push it the extra bit I think that'll be okay uh, and then that just uh, make sure it doesn't push the tooth too far over okay let's get a saw in the vise and I'll show you how it works did I say I can't see very well I've ordered some new glasses but for the moment I've got my old glasses broken and out of date a magnifying glass and a light so it should be all right okay this is one of the saws I bought uh, on the market a few weeks back one pound paid so first thing to do is determine which way the teeth are currently going which is not as easy as it sounds when you can't see what you're doing probably by feel might be best actually I flatten the top so that when we go to sharpen them, they're all at the right level. Um, okay. So my first tooth goes to my right. I didn't count the teeth, let's just do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I reckon that is. Okay. 12 to 14. Okay, let's, uh, let's do it. Set that for 12. Who says that? You have to be a bit careful that wheel doesn't move as you tighten it up. Okay, let's do it. It could be boring. One tooth, skip a tooth, skip a tooth.
Okay, that's one side done. I um, went over the middle section because I realised that I wasn't dropping this down so that the shoulders are actually sitting on there correctly. So I think I probably missed a few teeth. Okay, flip it round and do the same from the other side. Okay, that's both sides done. That is a remarkably easy tool to use. Good investment. Um, yeah, that's now set. I can feel that that is set both sides evenly. I'll just give it a sharpen and then we'll give it a test. Um, yeah, a modern saws, obviously they're sort of, uh, I think they have hardened tips and you can't sharpen them because they'll just snap. So there's a lesson there. Buy an old saw, get yourself a sharpening kit and uh, you're away. Much more fun as well. You don't do any woodwork but you get a lot of fun out of looking after your tools and thinking about woodwork. Okay I'm gonna go and have a coffee and then we're gonna sharpen this saw and give it a test. Okay, that's sharpened. My technique is getting better. I'm having to lean the file forward to get the, because uh, the teeth are supposed to lean forward. This is a, um, a rip saw configuration, not a cross cut saw. So they should lean forward and I keep forgetting to put the angle on the, on the file. But I think we're pretty good. Okay, that saw, apart from being a bit grubby, is all set and sharp. Let's give it a test. Need a drop of oil first because it hasn't been cleaned yet. Okay, let's do it. 
Okay, let's try it as a cross cut saw first of all, just to see how we get on. Not bad. And now as a rip saw. was that let's, tr let's count how many cuts One, two, three, four. that's the full width of the saw in four and a bit cuts that's pretty good I am happy with that not very straight mind you okay so that's the uh, saw set number 77 I don't know what this dates from probably the 60s 70s I don't know um, yeah really good little tool plenty of these on eBay uh, yeah I'll link down below so you can go and find yourself one so I've ended up with a nice sharp saw which I bought from the market for a pound all right it needs a clean but uh, yeah nothing wrong with that that'll last another 50 years um, yeah much better to do that than to go and buy a throwaway one for 10 quid isn't it my techniques need improving but I'm getting better at the sharpening I've got a straight ish edge on there yeah that's pretty good um, when I get my new glasses that might help as well. So it's only a short video today but uh, thanks for watching, see you soon.